What up guys, this is Casey is Dry again, and this is part 6 of Video Game History from Casey is Raw. So today is about Double Dragon. It's kind of obvious, you can see them all over. But let me start. No, before I go on to tell all the games, uh, I love Double Dragon. Especially the older ones I really love. Uh, honestly, I, let's go ahead and start with this one. I mean, this, it's not the box I had as a child, but the game inside is the one I had as a child. And when I saw the, get this box, I knew how to get it and sell the cartridge immediately to get some of the money back. But I love this Double Dragon. Uh, I thought this is what started it all. I did not know there was an arcade version of this. Of, or of the second one. Or of the third one. I just knew about the consoles. Especially the NES version. I didn't think there was any other versions until like Se Sega Genesis. And, and even that was like the fight it, uh, fighting one. Like, where it's, like Street Fighter kind of thing. But I really love Double Dragon. I mean, look how cool this box is, bro. I mean, arcade artwork. One of my favorite NES games of all time. And also, this is... I picked up the box of Double Dragon 2 later on. But also, the copy inside this one is from my childhood as well. And what's cool about this version and then the fir first one is this one actually is two player. You don't have to wait for your pr first player to die or switch back and forth. You can actually play two player. And uh, honestly, this was my late wise favorite game. One of them. But I enjoyed this game as well. So. Out of the three, these are... It's kind of hard to choose between one or two. I'd say probably one, two, and three. They're in the same ratings, but... One and two are damn close, if you ask me. And, um... I eventually played... Games like... This Sega Genesis version of Battletoads... Double Dragon game. I really enjoyed this game. It's cool. Uh, they made this also for, I believe, for the Super Nintendo as well. And actually, I believe this one's, this is actually going up in price a little bit. But before that, they had Double Dragon on the Sega Genesis. And I think this was from Activision. Still, no, from Accolade. Techno. Trying to read it a little bit, but uh, this is very close to the arcade port. Uh, very good game. I can't hate on Double Dragon, but I still prefer the NES original one from me, if you ask me. Um... Next, um, I'll move on to this one, the Double Dragon Battletoads game. Uh, this is a rare game to come by for the NES cartridge. Uh, what's well, funny, there's the Game Chasers and 8-Bit Eric. There's a, a bit, because uh, this game is really rare and expensive, that... Uh, Eric was caught slipping. One of the game chasers, Billy, uh, did like a Je Jedi mind trick on him and made him not buy it. And then Billy went right underhand and bought it right under him. So it was a big deal because he just slipped on it. And I'm like, oh my god. Even the reason he uses is because there's a sticker on there on the label and it didn't look great, but. Uh, Billy restored it to pretty look pretty nice, but 
a few years ago, I would say, oh shoot, I'm almost say five years ago, I went through too many games, and I uh, teased on my Twitter to both the Chasers and um, to, uh, to Eric, I have s something I want them to sign, but I had it backwards, because I did not want them to be, see what it was, I want to get the reaction, and I got the reaction I wanted, they were knew exactly why I brought it over there because and then they signed the, the game chaser signed it then like hey you want to get Eric to sign it too like yeah definitely because it's the whole bit it was hilarious so I had them sign it on the back so you got Billy on top Jay on bottom Shady Jay then 8-bit Eric And, um, uh, let's move over to the, this one, this Atari game. Uh, I just did a, uh, showing a bunch of my Atari games that were in my albums, and I did tell this story, but I'm gonna try to tell it again here. Uh, several years ago, I'd say maybe seven years ago, I came across at this, uh, flea market. Uh, it was with me and my wife, we're out... It's an outdoor flea market just outside Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And there's a U-Haul van. And we went inside, looked around, and I saw Double Dragon. I didn't know if there was Double Dragon. I thought this got to be something like, like a different game. Not Double Dragon, the Double Dragon. And I was like... But the guy had it priced at eighteen twenty bucks. I think it was eighteen, but uh he wasn't coming down. I was like, I'm not gonna pay that for an Atari game. And I kicked myself for for five years until I picked this one up in recent like the last year or two. Uh, I needed this in the collection. And I'm glad I finally came across and picked it up. But, yeah, this is the worst version to play Double Dragon. But uh, it's something funny uh, to have. And then let's move on to... Um, then, a uh, year before I picked that game up, uh, when I went the round... There was a, I was still in Pennsylvania with my wife. She was still alive at the time. And I found this Double Dragon for Atari 7800. I was like, it's like, gosh, I want the 2600 one, but this was cheaper. I think maybe I paid 10 15 for this one. And I wasn't going to let that happen again, what happened to me for the 2600. But, um,. Picked this up, then I'd been in hot pursuit trying to get at Atari 7800. And that's when I finally got a box. At the, no, 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 I was about to say, yeah, you know what? I think I picked this, the Atari 7800, at the same flea market, just at a different time frame. But I, that's why I remember about this one. Actually, it's 7800, it's a better version, but NES was still looks superior over this one, over the 7800, because, you know, this, NES was superior over Atari 7800, because, I mean, I believe the NES came out in 85, and, um, I think... That the Atari 7800 came out in 87. But it could have came out like two years. Give or take two years before the NES. They could have done really good. Atari 7800. The, again, especially it was backward compatible to the Atari 2600. But um, Atari fucked up on that one. But... Sorry for the long story about that, but uh, that's the why I also picked this one up. 
You know what? I I know there's a double dragon five right here, but I don't know. I mean, if they count this one super double dragon as double dragon four, but they went and called several. Like I think there was street uh double dragon five also for the Super Nintendo. I thought I had it, but apparently I don't. But I do have it on the Atari Jaguar. And I believe that pretty much after this, uh, they stopped making Double Dragons for a l long time. I mean, honestly, uh, during the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch era, they finally made Double Dragon 4. And actually, I really like it. It's a little easier to play, but it looks like Double Dragon 2, but... This is like a fighter game. It's like Street Fighter, so I'm not a big fan of it. Same thing. It's just on the Sega Genesis, so, I mean, I just have two versions of it right here. Like, I have the two versions of Double Dragon and, and um, Battletoad games. They're the same thing. Except that one was one sixteen bit, one's eight bit. While these, this is a six. This is sixteen bit. While this is supposedly supposed to be, you can see right there it says sixty four bit. But it's pretty much the sixteen bit game that got ported over Atari Jaguar. Into what's left, what's in my collection of Double Dragon. I'll, I'll probably also show some, on my t uh, arcade cabinet about the uh, Double Dragon games I got on this. Super Double Dragon. Um, really haven't played it yet. I recently played it up, but I have a lot. But I hear it's pretty much a be way better version of the original. So, uh, that's how I believe I hear. And then we're getting to the sh Um, I'm not gonna say... I'm gonna do the last good one before I get to the last two shit Double Dragon games. Uh, like I was said, I was kind of shocked to see Double Dragon for the Sega Master System. And actually, a lot of people... Thinks this is superior because this is actually play two player. It's like just like the arcade game, and they're not lying. I mean, you can play two player just like the arcade game. Unlike the NES version, you have to switch back and forth between player one and player two. But it's cool. I like it. I still prefer the NES one because I just grew up, but this is still a good version of Double Dragon. I mean, if you're going to play Double Dragon with someone, this is probably the best way to go. And now we're to the real shit ones. Double Dragon 3, the arcade game. <laughs> Oh man, Double Dragon 3 sucks. It's extremely hard. It's the arcade arcade game is extremely hard and it's not it's not the same. It's kinda like they lost their way when they made this one. And the same thing, this is pretty much the same game, just, you know, you only get one life. One life, and you're dead, and game's over. So this one was just a bad version of the Double Dragon series. I mean, I recently picked up Double Dragon uh, Neon on the... Xbox One, and I enjoy it. It's actually really good. That's minus the new X, uh, gosh, the Double Dragon 4 game that's been released. Uh, I would say 
last good Double Dragon game since was Double Dragon Neon. But I'm going to show you guys right now some of the arcade games of the Double Dragon real quick. Right here is Double Dragon for the Neo Geo. Let it load up on my screen. Techno. Okay. is a fire. It's like street fire. I'm not going to do any good because... By the way, if I suck, it's because I'm doing this one-handed. That's good enough. You can see what it is. It's if you like Street Fighter, I guess you would like this game. Get out of this. Now I'm loading up Double Dragon, the arcade game. The actual Double Dragon arcade game. You can see it looks pretty damn good with the graphics. This is just a demo. Pretty badass, if you ask me. Let's move on. Now loading up Double Dragon 2. Not 100% sure. If, uh... Double Dragon 3 is on here, but I can try to look. If not, I'll probably just end the video. I don't remember this level, quite frankly. But it's been a while since last time I played Double Dragon. Oh, I thought it was messing up. See, that looks kind of familiar. Alright, let's move on to the last It looks like that was the last one. I didn't have Double Dragon 3 on the arcade, but thanks for watching, guys. Bye.